Hello everyone. My name is Yoshiki Ito. I'm an expert on Japanese fermented food. I will introduce traditional Japanese fermented food derived from koji and 100% plant based Japanese cuisine shojin yori on my channel. Today, I will talk about sake. Sake is traditional Japanese liquor made from rice. Japonica rice is the only raw material for sake, it's very simple. Why does it have a simple yet mellow and full taste? The main secret lies in the close collaboration between microorganisms and humans. Aspergus orizae, a Japanese national bacterium that decomposes and sacrifices rice, which is a raw material. Is that its sugar produced by koji mold and produce a variety of aromas and taste. Delicious natural water and the wisdom liquor made by parallel double fermentation in which sacrification and fermentation proceed in parallel, which is performed only in small part of Asia in the world, makes sake canasas all over the world grown with pleasure. On the other hand, unfortunately, there are many similar non-Japanese restaurants all over the world that just got on the sake boom. I want to tell you how wonderful sake is, which is so delicious that my heart trembles. To that end, I realized that I needed to use my five senses to face sake, not just my desk knowledge. Therefore, I wanted to actually visit the sake brewery and gain a deeper understanding of sake. That's why I interviewed Sekia Brewery in Jijo Kobo in Aichi Prefecture. It is one of the most prized sake breweries in Japan. The first sake I drank in my life was a sake made by this brewery. I still vividly remember how impressed I was. Is sake so delicious? Let's take a trip with me to see how sake is made. Please take a look at this illustration to see how sake is made before you start the tour. Sake brewing is made in this order. Today, this person who teaches us about sake brewing is Mr. Sogi, a deputy toji of sake brewery in Jokobo. Toji is a person in charge of all sake brewing at the sake brewery. People involved in sake brewing are called kurabito. In English, it means keeper of imperial archives. First, wear a love coat and hat. The tour starts immediately. First, wash the rice and soak it in water. At this workshop, they make only one custom-made sake in the world according to your taste and purpose. Depending on the type of sake they make, the amount of rice to use and the proportion of the rice to cut will change. In seconds, the time to wash and soak the rice will change. The water used for sake is called road water. The water used in this sake brewery is all spring water from the region. Clean and abundant natural water is indispensable for making delicious sake. The rice is washed and soaked while measuring time with a large timer. Every second is important. Next, steam the rice. Make rice koji from steamed rice. The process of first breaking down rice starch into glucose and converting that glucose into alcohol is required to make sake. Starch contained in rice is in the form of glucose, which is a combination of small sugars. It's just an image, but let's say the pearl necklace is starch in rice. This is called a polysaccharide. Each of these parts is glucose. The bond here is strong and can only be separated with the appropriate scissors. This scissor is an enzyme. Separating each piece with scissors is called disassembly. Koji mold has scissors that break down sugar, that is enzymes, so it can be cut into small pieces of glucose one by one. The yeast added later can only eat the smallest decomposed sugar called glucose. Yeast eats glucose and makes alcohol, therefore it cannot work without koji mold. In addition to amylase, which breaks down sugar, koji mold also has an enzyme called protease, which breaks down proteins. The protein contained in rice is decomposed into amino acid by the enzyme of koji mold, which gives the taste and richness of sake. 
Koji mode, Asperger's Orizai has many such various enzymes, and as a result of genome analysis, it has become clear that there are about 130 kinds of proteolytic enzyme genes. Koji mode is a master of decomposition. This rice koji making is the most important process in sake growing. Spread the steamed rice and transplant the koji mode seeds. Koji mode does not propagate well if the temperature is too high or too low. Also, check the hardness of the steamed rice by rubbing it with both hands like this. This is called a twisted rice cake. I tried it but it's very hard. With the softness of rice, like the rice we usually eat, they cannot make good rice koji mode because the asparagus grows at once. The hardness of this steamed rice is also an important factor for making rice koji. Next, make rice koji in the koji room. I couldn't see this room this time, but something like this is happening in the room. Koji mode is attached to each steam rice grain and slowly increases according to the desired sake. If the temperature rises too high, the number of asparagus will increase at once, so it is necessary to check the situation every one to two hours. Mr. Sogi said that he will be staying overnight to manage the rice koji tonight. It's like breastfeeding with love. I remembered when I was breastfeeding my son every two hours, no matter how sleepy the night. Everyone involved in sake blowing is approaching sake blowing with the feeling of thinking of their own children like the mothers. Once the rice koji is ready, it's time to make shubo. Shubo is written in Chinese characters as Rika Mother. This is the starter of sake. Mix shubo, natural water, rice koji, yeast, lactic acid, and steamed rice. Put them in a preparation tank and proceed with fermentation for two weeks. What is happening in the preparation tank at this time? First, the koji mold in the rice koji slowly decomposes the polysaccharides in the rice. With the temperature and sugar increase, the number of germs that adversely affect sake will increase it at the same time. Lactic acid is also added to suppress the growth of these germs. Many germs cannot live under acidic conditions, also yeast is more active under acidic conditions. Yeast is glucose decomposes by koji mode and yeast increases, producing more and more alcohol. The simultaneous progress of decomposition and fermentation in this way is called parallel double fermentation. Fermentation progresses when asparagus, yeast, and lactic acid coexist in an exquisite balance. Clavito finally adjusts the temperature and humidity so that microorganisms can work in a well-balanced manner. Mr. Sogi showed me inside of the shubo tank. Can you hear that? It is fermentation and making a cute sound. This room is filled with a sweet and wonderful scent of rice koji. Once shubo is ready, add steamed rice, natural water, and rice koji to increase it. If you add ingredients such as rice at once, the fermentation speed will be too fast and they will not be able to make delicious sake. The liquid that is made by adding shubo, koji, steamed rice, and brewed water, so to speak, before coming sake is called moromi. Repeat the same process a total of three times to increase moromi. This is called a three-stage preparation. It takes a lot of time and effort. Moromi that has been prepared in three stages is aged in the tank for about two weeks. This is a tank that is aging. What a nice scent. It smells very delicious. After aging, squeeze moromi. The squeeze and clear sake flows through a tube to another tank. This is to minimize the effect of oxidation. The remaining plate like this is sake leaf. Sake leaf is packed with wonderful food functions that are not yet generally known. 
I'll take more about this in another video. Sake that is squeezed and not heat treated is called raw sake. Since enzymes and bacteria are alive, it is easy to digest and has a fresh taste. Depending on the storage temperature and location, the bacteria may become active and the form of the taste may change, so in most cases, they are heat treated to stop fermentation before shipping. Both are very delicious sake. This Ginjo Kobo sells sake by weight. You can also sample so you can buy a small amount of your favorite sake depending on your physical condition, mood, and purpose of the day. I set up a tent in the garden and had a solo camp that night. At the time, I had this sake and I was surprised that it was very delicious. Please also watch the my solo camping video, I'll put the link in the description below. When you come to Japan, please try raw sake. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Seikia Rory for kindly consenting to the tour. I hope this video will help everyone in the world to enjoy sake more than ever. I hope that many people will know the wonderfulness of Koji mode, which makes cooking delicious. I will continue to introduce Japanese fermented foods and shojin yori on my channel. I will tell you what kind of good work fermented foods have on our bodies and vegetable dishes using fermented foods. I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and share my channel with your family and friends. Arigatou gozaimashita.